So, good day, my dear students. For today's video, we're going to talk about the linear congruence. Last time, we defined modulo as the equivalent for asking the remainder of x when divided by n. So, in linear congruence naman po, two integers a and b are said to be congruent or in the same equivalence class module n if they have the same remainder upon division by n. In such a case, we say that A is congruent to B mod N. So, ano pong ibig sabihin ng paragraph na po? Ibig sabihin po, if we have 2 mod 5, 2 mod 5 is therefore congruent to 22 mod 5. So, ibig sabihin ito po, pwede siyang ma-rewrite ma as 22 mod 5 is congruent to 2 mod 5. Ibig sabihin, equal lang po sila. Bakit po? Ang remainder po ng 22, kapag i-divide po kay 5, is 2. Ang 2 po, divided by 5, ang remainder niya po is 2. So therefore, they are congruent. So ganun po yung idea ng linear congruence. However, paano ko yung mga questions po dito is meron na pong involvement kay x. So for example, we have problem number one. For example, number one, we have 25x is congruent to 15 mod 29. So ano daw po yung multiply natin kay 25 para maging congruent siya kay 15 mod 29. So since kung makikita nyo po, parehas po si 25 and 15 divisible by 5, so meaning to say, pwede po natin siyang i-divide by 5 po muna. Hindi na po... Importante kung divisible po si 29 by 5. Pero po sa ibang problems, kung divisible po siya nitong tatlo, pwede po siyang i-divide para maging lowest term. So, ibig sabihin ito, pwede siya maririte as 5x is congruent to 3 mod 29. Now, ang plano po natin is ma-isolate dapat si x. Kaya ibig sabihin, dapat ma-divide both sides din po natin siya by 5. Meaning to say, si 3 po, dapat Divisible po siya by 5. Ano pong gagawin natin? It's either continuous addition or continuous subtraction. Depende po sa kung ano yung gusto nyo pong gawin. So, in my case, I want it to be continuous addition. 3 plus 29, that is 32. 32 plus 29, that is 61. 61 plus 29, that is 90. So, kung makikita nyo po 90, is divisible by 5 na po. So, pwede natin siyang gamitin. 90 mod 29. Divide both sides by 5. By 5. So, that will give us x must be equal to 90 divided by 5. That will give us 18. 18 mod 29. Or simply, 18 lang po. So, x will be 18. So, yan na po yung sagot number 2, we have here 9x is congruent to 6 mod 15. Ngayon po, kung makikita nyo, lahat po sila divisible by 3. So, meaning to say, let us first divide both or lahat po ng numbers by 3. So, we have here divided by 3, divided by 3, divided by 3. So, we have here 9 divided by 3, that is 3x, is congruent to 6 divided by 3, that is 2 mod 15 divided by 3, that is 5. Ngayon po, Ang plan is to isolate x kasi siya po yung hinahanap natin. So, we need to do the continuous addition or subtraction in order for us to make these two both divisible on each other. So, we will have 2 minus 5 that is negative 3. So, since tamang-tama negative 3 is divisible by 3, so, ibig sabihin pa rin natin siyang i rewrite as 3x is congruent to negative 3 mod 5, and divide both sides by 3, x is congruent to negative 1, mod 5. Pero di ba po, modulo is remainder, and there is no negative remainder. So meaning to say, kailangan po natin itong i-add. So negative 1 plus 5, that will give us 4. So this is also congruent to 4, mod 5. That will be our answer. For example, number 3, we can see that all of the numbers are divisible by 5. So, ibig sabihin, pwede po natin siyang i-divide 
ko muna lahat ng 5. So, that is 2x is congruent to 3 mod 9. Ngayon po, kailangan natin isunod si 3 kay 2 para ma-isolate po natin siya kay x. So, ibig sabihin, pwede tayo ulit kumamit ng continuous addition or continuous subtraction. So, in this case, I want it to be continuous subtraction po ulit kasi siya po yung mas convenient. So, we have here 3 minus 9, that is negative 6. Kung makikita nyo po, negative 6 and 2 are divisible both by 2. So, ibig sabihin, pwede ko siyang i rewrite as 2x is congruent to negative 6 mod 9. So, divide both sides by 2. So, x is congruent to negative 3 mod 9, which is also equal to x is 6 mod 9. So, yan po yung sagot. So, check po natin kung tama yung mga nakukuha natin sagot. 10x is congruent to 15 mod 45. So, that is 10 times 6 is equal to or is congruent to 15 mod 45. Now, 60 must be congruent to 15 mod 45. So, so divide ko natin manually. 60 divided by 45. That is 1. 45 cannot be carry 1. That is 5. 5. 1. So, kung makikita nyo, meron siyang remainder na 15. So, therefore, totoo po na x must be 6. So, that's it for today, my dear students. If you still have questions, please don't hesitate to comment down below. If you find this video helpful to your number theory subject, please like and subscribe to my channel. So, I'll see you next time. Bye!